afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Tuesdays in 10 with Molly, where we talk about healthcare education topics in 10 minutes or less. This week, we're going to talk about dance therapy, dance movement therapy, and what that is. Um, this past weekend, I, say, I was going to say we, or the community of dance therapists, attended an online dance therapy summit uh, celebrating National Dance Therapy Advocacy Day. Um, so I thought I'd come on here this week and talk about what dance therapy actually is. Um, I know I always run into a couple questions when I say that I'm a dance therapist, when people see what my credentials are. So I thought, um, let's talk about it on Tuesdays and 10, so here we are. So dance therapy itself, and I'm going to read it verbatim from the ADTA, which is the American Dance Therapy Association. So dance therapy by the ADTA is defined as dance movement dance movement therapy as the psychotherapeutic use of movement to promote emotional, social, cognitive, and physical integration of the individual. And why I wanted to read it verbatim is because that's ADTA's definition. So dance therapy in itself is not solely um, defined by the ADTA. It's an association like anything else, any other credentialing board, any other um, national organization, but um, there are dance therapists all over the world. And this past weekend at our summit, it was really wonderful to meet and hear different dance therapists from Canada and India and Australia um, and numerous other countries coming together and talking about the beauty and the wonder that this work is. Um, so that's verbatim the ADTA's definition, but I please ask you to explore, um, give, give it a little Google search and put in dance movement therapy and just see what pops up in, in each country's different um, definition. I know the UK uh, organization has a different definition and it's all remotely um, similar, you know, of course, but it's just a little bit different. And I always think that that's interesting to see w different ways we can explore what um, the same type of field or community looks like in different countries, especially now in, in, in our global world news and everything that's going on to understand what people are doing and who they are and how they're seen um, is very important. So I implore you to look that up. Um, so, so what I do as a dance therapist in particular is I work in the aging uh, population, positive aging, older adult memory care, um, as well as an end of life care and hospice and palliative care. So I utilize my education as a dance therapist um, in those particular populations. So utilizing movement um, complementary to, to language. So when you think uh, therapy, you go to a therapist, you sit down, maybe, you know, this might be one, one avenue or one image of a therapy session. You go in and you sit down on a couch and you chat, right? You talk about what's going on in your life, um, what you're feeling, et cetera, et cetera. And it's, it's a verbal dialogue. So with dance movement therapy, um, we're utilizing language and imagery and speech in relation to movement. But movement is our, um, our initial intervention, it's our modality. So I'm gonna come at the goal of our therapeutic space with a movement intervention or utilizing the mind-body connection um, and starting there. And why it's so important to, to experience dance therapy if you have never have on an individual basis um, or just to see what it's about is because not everyone wants to talk about talk about it, right? And I know, and when I say talk about it, like their their lives talk about their problems, their issues, their struggles. Um, you know, sometimes it's easier to close your eyes and move, right? And I know for me sometimes like, you know, I got a lot on my mind, I'm really overwhelmed, all this stuff's going on. I don't wanna talk about it. You know, like I just, I need to feel it in my body. I need to experience it. If that's moving quietly with my eyes closed and just feeling my space, feeling my kinesphere, which is the space around my body, right? This this extra space, um, like imagining an orb, right? You know, and, and just seeing where I am in space, where I am in my body, regrounding, and then maybe finding the words to complement the emotions that are coming up from my body. <clears throat> So that's you know one example of what dance therapy can do, and and utilizing dance therapy in 
trauma and end of life in the aging population um, <clears throat> is even more more important, I guess I don't want to put a more or less important, is, is very significant in its own self um, because there's not always language. You know, I, I work with um, Alzheimer's and dementia and all you know other dementias and and we don't always have language that are my clients don't always have language so for me to be able to come in and move with them and and find their words through movement through that nonverbal expression it's such a wonderful thing um, because you know I, I've had families say oh mom mom doesn't talk or mom doesn't dance or she not you know like she doesn't do that um, and I'll say okay you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna prompt her. I'm just gonna bring an egg shaker over. I have some scarf. She can tell me no. She can wave me away. You know, I'm just gonna try. Are you okay with that if I, if I try? And most of the time, your family's like, yeah, go ahead. Um, and and the next time I look over, there's tears in their eyes because their mother is singing and laughing and, and moving and swaying. And it was it was that one person that needed to come at it in a different avenue without just saying can you speak to me? Can you tell me how you're feeling today? And then either if it's a choice or an, an inability to utilize language um, to express that, it's, it, you know, not everybody wants to or can talk about it. Um, and so when we lose language and there's other, you know, cognitive disabilities, disorders, we can come to music and you come to music, um, music and movement and and see how else we can we can pull from that it's a different way to get in that's always kind of how i explain it um a, a different way to get into someone's um emotional bodies their physical mental bodies and and working from there um so i always i always try and say you know don't don't ride something off um that oh they can't dance or they can't sing or they can't move um because it's different parts of our brains, it's different parts of our um, energy bodies that are gonna come up and out in that experience. Um, so, so that's one aspect of dance therapy, but it can be in trauma and with children with autism and other disabilities. Um, so many things, so many things. Um, relationships and I just read some, oh God, now I can't remember, but but so, someone posted something very interesting and I'll have to find it and, and tag them, um, but of just different populations and different avenues to utilize dance movement therapy in that you wouldn't even think. And it's, as soon as you see that opportunity, it's you're like, wow, that, of course that works. Of course that's a great idea. Um, I know, so it's, so it's it's really interesting and I really enjoy being a dance therapist. Um, I'm looking at our time. We have two minutes left for this week. Um, but if you are interested in, in becoming a dance therapist, you know, I'm based in New Jersey, but like I said, the ADTA is my licensing, my credentialing board. So I'm an RDMT, I'm a registered dance movement therapist. Um, it's a master's level entry degree. So you can only um, be a licensed dance therapist when completing an accredited master's program. So um, I graduated with a MS from Sarah Lawrence College, um, but I believe there's seven other programs in this country, in our country, um, that you can do that. So please message me, DM me, call me, anything if you're interested in receiving a dance therapy session or you'd like to be a dance therapist um, or just, just want to inquire and chat more about, about the field um, while we are advocating and educating for our field um, and for our dance therapists who are experiencing different struggles and, and different, I guess, struggles. And, and us being able to support each other in this time and 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 everything um, and, and just really supporting everybody um, and we'll leave it there so um, you can email me at energydancehealing at gmail.com you can go to my website uh, www.energyhealing.com um, and I will see you next week